Okay, g'day guys, uh, Andrew Dwight, hey, Prospect 2018, got some cool new features, uh, probably more so for the builders, uh, yet uh, if you're into some fine detailing or you'd like to add extra details to your models, uh, this is really going to help you out. So what I'm going to do is just draw a couple of walls, so I'll actually just go back to here, and I'll choose my wall type. Uh, let's just go to, say, uh, where we go? a wainscot wall, which is split, and this will probably help me, and this is the height of the so the brickwork or the cladding on the outside, I'm going to say I'm going to make it 900 or 3 feet. Uh, and I'm going to go submit and I'm just going to quickly just draw three walls here. Okay. All right. And you'll see that what's actually happened is that we have a wall that's half and half. And that's not what I'm going to show you, but uh, I think it will become clear why uh, we've added this functionality. Uh, I'm going to say add a window. And I'll choose, say, I know, just a rectangle window. Let's say go from here to here. And I might just quickly put in an internal wall as well. And in America, they do things a little different to what we do down under in Australia. And it was probably a specific request from those as well. Put an internal wall in. And this is not all of America, but a lot of it. I'll put, say, an internal wall coming off here. And what I'll do is I'll just basically, I'm going to create my scenes and I think it's a good idea for everyone to create scenes early in the piece because it enables you to navigate your model a lot quicker. You notice my scenes are coming across up here. Okay. And I'm going to go to my structural view. Here. And you'll notice that with these uh, walls here. I was pretty lucky that that fell on a stud this side. However, there'd be nothing to line uh, my wall to on this side. Uh, so what I could do is I just grab my, my beam tool and I can go in and I can start to add in extra blocking or trimmers or whatever you like to call it. And I might have another beam or something. So I can choose my timber size here. I can just go and say, well, you know what, I want to have a, a trimmer here. Alright, and if you use your uh, left arrow, right, bottom arrow, uh, I can put that trimmer in the wall. Okay, but at the moment it's not stuck to it, so if I move the wall or something like that, uh, it would create a problem. Right. And that would allow me to nail my lining down here in this particular instance. Um, and as I said before, if I move this wall, pull it, it's not stuck to the wall, so therefore you'll notice that the trimmers are going to say there, and that's no good. So I'm going to control Z that and take it back to where it needs to go. If I select this and the wall and right click and go to my walls, I can add beam objects to wall. Right, therefore, if I push and pull my wall, You'll notice that my beam object stayed to my wall. I could also take this one over with it. Uh, it's really handy for, for doing that type of thing. Also, with a, with a wainscot wall, as you can see here, you would also want some trimmers here. So you can go and add in all of the detail that you want in your frame very, very quickly. So then I can attach this cladding to here, or I could use it for uh, external lining. I could use it for you know bathroom trimmers. It doesn't matter. It could be a steel beam. It can be any type of beam. Uh, and we can associate that with a wall. It just makes things a lot faster. So we can go here and use, say, a universal beam. I don't know, we might have something coming out of here or whatever. Let her hold the beam up for me. Okay, right. At the moment, it's not associated with the wall. Select the beam, select the wall, right click, walls, add beam object to wall. Okay, it's particularly helpful if you actually go and try and put in a couple more windows. So let's just say I put in another window here. It highlights issues, which is a good thing, I believe, because we could make it removal and put the window in. But you see that? It highlights, okay, well, we've got trimmers there for some reason. What's the reason? You can go and quite quickly just remove beams from walls. 
and it will go through and it will remove every being object that you've got associated with that wall. And there you go. Alright, there's plenty of applications for it guys, hopefully it all works out uh, well for you. Cheers.